or we yeah 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 it's truly righteous and God-fearing individuals rise up each night Oi for we yeah yeah it's truly righteous for we here yeah yeah it's truly righteous for we yeah yeah it's truly righteous and God fearing individuals rise up each night drawing upon themselves the holiness of midnight a time when great love is aroused in several communities today, communities today individuals and groups practice this devotion every night this devotion empowers them to always awaken from the sleep at midnight namely the moment when a deep spiritual sleep threatens to engulf them they may fall all kinds of things may happen to them no matter they can still arouse themselves even from the very depths of their personal constrictions through the little bit of good they find they can always wake up at their personal midnight why was Moses unable to, to, to determine or oh, the exact moment at midnight? The answer is that the Torah had, had, Torah had not yet been given. So as yet, there was no arousal from below. There were not yet that many Siddiquim who rose at midnight to occupy themselves with Torah because the Torah had not yet been given. Thus it was difficult to determine the exact moment of midnight, even according to the opinion that Moses did not know. Oh, oh, oh the exact moment but could not speak openly, did know, did know the exact moment, but could not speak openly about it for fear that people would, would make mistakes. Our explanation still stands. Moses could not yet reveal his insight to the world because the world had not yet been, had not yet received, because the Torah had not yet been received in the world. Like King David did not know the exact, did know the exact moment because he had a harp hanging over his bed. We find in the teachings of Rabbi Nachman that the power, that the power of this harp derived from the Torah, its five strings corresponded to the five books of the Torah, because this harp roused him from his sleep. David knew how to determine the exact moment of midnight. King David is the embodiment of Mashiach. Whose constant, whose constant task is to rectify Jewish souls, rousing them from the sleep to the good, to the good points he finds in them. He enlightens each person individually by guiding him to seek out his good points and awake it from his sleep, so he will not fall completely. Most importantly, one must know how to determine the exact moment when he is on the verge of falling. At that instant, God will enlighten him with His love to save him and wake him up. Though he falls, he will not be thrown down, for God upholds him. The wicked man watches for the righteous, seeking to slay him. God will not abandon him to his hand. These verses appear in the same psalm as the very, as the verse that forms the foundation of the teaching of Azamro. And in but a little bit, the sinner is not carry it carries the whole message it, it carries the same message for the Jewish people as a whole when he sees that their power is gone with no protection or help he will say where is the God the rock in which they trusted see now that I I am the only one there are no gods with me redemption is found in the power of the Torah for today we have received the Torah it was given to us through our teacher Moses and through all the Siddiquim who lived until now and who explained the Torah his ways to us how did King David know when it was midnight through, the, through his harp through his ability to, to play of David it is written through his harp through his ability to play of David it is written he knows how to play the entire lesson of Azamro is expressed in the concept of the holy melodies emanating from King David's harp Azamro I will sing awake my glory awake the lyre and the harp I will awaken the dumb or through these melodies David knew how to determine the exact moment of midnight yeah, yeah, yeah. King David is the Mashiach through whom the final redemption will come about out. The redemption that will end all exiles, it will come about through the song and melody, through the songs and melodies of the anointed of the Lord of Jacob, the sweet singer of Israel. May come speedily in our days. Amen. 
Or the teaching of a Zamru, that was a Kita Luchos, teaching of a Zamru does not imply that what is manifest, manifestly, that what is manifestly evil does not imply that what is manifestly evil can be turned into good by finding a good point within it. Rebbe Nachman does not say that the evil a person does should be judged favorably, favorably. Elsewhere, he taught the person who justifies an evildoer is also called evil. Rather, Rabbi Nachman urges us to find some good point that existed in the evildoer per, uh, previously. In that place, this person is not evil. And then it is possible to judge him on the scale of merit. Every single Jew. And in that place, this person is not evil. And then it is possible to judge him on the scale of merit. Every single Jew, no matter who he is, possesses at least some spark of the holiness of Israel within him. And this Jewish pe- and the Jewish people are a part of God. Godliness and the Jewish people are, par- are a part of godliness, which is the source of all good. Therefore, it is impossible for a Jew to fall completely into evil and be a complete evildoer. Beer Halakutim 282. The land of Israel. <clears throat> The land of Israel contains the source of song and melody. The land of Israel contains the source of song and melody. Songs and melodies are made by sifting the good points that exist in each person, selecting the good wind or the good spirits and rejecting the bad. Or the land of Israel is a place for this process of sifting and selecting. Of this land it is written, from the corner of the land we hear songs. Oh, and let your good spirits lead me in the land of righteousness. The Levites sang the daily song in the land of Israel. In the holy temple, the sanctuary where all the good points of all the Jewish people were collected. For Jerusalem is called good. This good mountain and the land of Israel is called good this land is both desirable and good desirable in the sense that all the good points crave and desire to be included there just as they crave to be merged in the genuine prayer leader the time of singing has arrived this verse refers to, refers to the song to the songs and melodies that are created after the good points have been gathered together and formed into the sanctuary oh, from which the little school children receive the on Tainted breath of the mouse. The verse continues. The voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. Is heard in our land. The Zara explains. This is the voice of the little school children learning Torah. This this voice is heard in our land. In the land of Israel, Zim Zimra Saoritz 282 on Shabbos. Everyone is judged favorably, and all harsh judgments are overturned. Accordingly, the good point which is to be found in every Jew, even in sinners, shines forth on Shabbos. There is no such thing as a Jewish sinner who does not have good deeds that elevate him to the world to come. When do they elevate him? On Shabbos. Thus all are crowned with the crown of Shabbos. Similarly, the rabbis com- commented on the verse, I am black, but, com- but comely. I am black on the weekdays, but comely on Shabbos. Oh, he says the good point shines forth on Shabbos. Everyone is judged on the scale of merits on that day. And through this, they generally move into, onto, the sca- onto the scale of merits and are able to return to God in true repentance. Oh, the Shabbos includes the concept of tshuva, teshuva, repentance accordingly. The sage said, he who observes Shabbos has forgiven all his sins. This accounts for the great joy of Shabbos. Rabbi Nachman, Kedusha Shabbos 282, Rabbi Nachman often said he wanted very much for us to follow his teachings in the sense of making one of his lessons and concentrating and of taking one of his lessons and concentrating on it for two or three months at a time during that period all our efforts towards spiritual advancement should be centered around the teachings in that lesson and all our prayers and meditations should be directed towards achieving the concepts discussed therein we should carry on with this for some time and then go on to another lesson also for a few months and so we should continue until we have gone through all, all, all the Rebbe's lessons happy is the man who takes this to heart 
Rabbi Nachman's wisdom, 297. Rabbi Nachman once asked Rabbi Meir of Teplik about a man from Teplik who was somewhat attached to him. Rabbi Meir answered in a tone of indifference, as if to say the person in question wasn't much to talk about. Please listen to what I am going to tell you, said Rabbi Nachman. If you want to look at things negatively, negatively, you'll find in fault with everyone in the whole world. See for yourself. Try to think of all the people you know living in your town. Start with the person living at the edge of the town. If you look at him carefully, you'll certainly find some shortcomings. Go from house to house until you get to your house, to your house. Uh, are you the only good Jew in the whole town? I, uh, I'm also not such a good Jew. I'm also not such a good Jew, said Rabbi Meir. Then who is a good Jew? Asked Rabbi Nassim, if you would try to look at the world positively, then even when you look at the worst of people, you'll be able to find at least something good. And you certainly will find good when you think about the people who aren't so bad. This applies to everyone, even in you, there's something good. If you look at things this way, you'll be able to improve the whole world. Papa Rosh Hashanah 22 end. Another time Rabbi Nassim was speaking about this path of Zahar. Rabbi Nachman of Tachin was sitting by Rabbi Nassim discussed the whole subject in his passion and thirst for Rabbi Nassim's sweet words. Rabbi Nachman repeated every word after him under his breath. Rabbi Nassim asked him, Do you think this is a simple, easy matter? I will explain to you what is so hard about it. Do not forget, the Rebbe said that by judging ourselves and others favorably, we really do elevate ourselves onto the scale of merit and can then return to God. Even if it were, if it were within our power to achieve this, we would be able to bring, if it were, if it were within our power to achieve this, we would bring the, we would be able, if it were within our power to achieve this, we would be able to bring the entire world back to God. Papyrus Papyrus the Chacham 22, Rebbe Nelson writes the Rebbe, he told me he had been speaking with someone who was complaining bitterly about how terrible his behavior was. This man wanted very much to draw closer to God and change his behavior for the better. But each time he tried, the temptations grew stronger and stronger. The days had turned into years, and he had still not managed to extricate himself from his bad ways. But each time he would try even harder to control himself, and was always struggling to get closer to God. As he complained to the Rebbe about how terrible his behavior was, the Rebbe answered with him with great wisdom. He said, in a tone of sincerity and simplicity, I have no one to speak to because everything is totally bad. At this, the man got excited and said to the Rebbe, Oh, but I do try to fight back at times and get closer to what I should be as a Jew and get closer to what I should be. As a Jew, only the slightest bit. And to the Rebbe, he did uh, only the slightest bit, answered the Rebbe. Only the slightest bit, answered the Rebbe. Only the slightest bit, answered the Rebbe. He then told the man to make it a practice to follow the teachings of Azamru. I understood the Rebbe to mean that this was precisely how he revived this man. He had already fallen so low in his own sight that it was not possible to revive him with anything. It was only when the Rebbe told him that he was totally bad that he was startled and became excited. It was then that he started feeling a little of the holiness of the good points that were still to be found in him. Then the Rebbe advised him to follow the lesson of a Zabru. Chaim Aran, Avodah Hashem 118. Nanach, Nachmo, Allah, Nachmo, Nameyumam. Inanach, Nachmo, 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 Nachm